Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we are doing 3D numbers. I'm gonna be doing a seven and a four. No, a nine and a four. <laughs> um, but this is the file that, um, that I get it from. It's from Nomara Quintella and this packet is amazing. So it comes with the letters, the accents, the marks, and the numbers. Um, and it's $18. I feel like it's worth it. Design Space also has its own, but the letters are thinner, so I feel like there's less space to decorate, and it's not as sturdy. So I really do like the structure of this file. So all right, once you purchase it, when you buy it, you download it, right? So then it goes into, for mine, it goes into my downloads and it's a zip file. It's a really, really big file because it has all your letters, numbers, etc. So what you wanna do is you wanna double click on the actual folder. So then you go into the folder and in this case, I want my numbers, right? So I'm gonna click on numbers and I've had this file for months now and I haven't used all the numbers and letters and I only, um, upload them into design space as I use them. So I know I should probably just take the time to do it, but I haven't. All right. So go into number nine. I want the SVG file and I want the, um, let me see, which one do I do? Um, I want the dash line. So what happens is it cuts the dash line and it's so much easier to fold the tabs. So I'm going to bring this over to my desktop. So this is my number nine. I'm going to go to numbers and as soon as i can oh don't do this to me uh, <laughs> okay um here are my numbers i'm gonna go to four and let me double check yeah i'm doing 94. go to svg i want the dash line i'm gonna bring it into my desktop all right so i have the two files right i'm gonna go to inkscape the reason why I wanna go into Inkscape is I wanna create that internal offset. And actually, if you give me just one second, I'm go oh, I don't have it down here. Um, the reason why we wanna do it in, in Inkscape is so that we can create a nice little border um, on the actual 3D letter. So let's bring in both the numbers. I'm gonna to go to File and um, Import. And I want my cut file, um, number nine. Here's my number nine. And I'm just gonna click okay. And it's gonna come in. I'm gonna do them separately just because my mind. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll do them both. Okay, it comes in kind of blank, right? So just hit and add a color just so that we can see it. So this is our number nine. And, um, Let's also bring in our number four. So go find your cut file for number four. Uh, six, four. All right, so click OK. And on this one, again, I'm gonna do another color. Okay, so I'm gonna just pull this one down here. Um, and let's make it bigger just so that you, we can both see it better. So when I click on this file, the lock button is not locked. It's actually unlocked. So I want to click on it to lock it so that I can make it bigger and I could just see it better. Okay. All right. And then same thing with this four. It's already locked this time. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So here are our two numbers, right? Um, so go and let's, I already clicked over here so that nothing is selected. So see how this is selected the dotted line around something i don't want that so i want to uh, i want to click in the empty space area so that nothing is selected i'm going to go down click on my paint bucket i'm going to click on let's click on any color down here just not the same color so i'm going to click on this color and in the grow or shrink by if you're growing it's going to be a positive number 10 20 30 40 etc 15 it doesn't have to be by tens um if you want to shrink you want to put a negative number you want to get smaller so i'm going to do negative 10 and i'm going to do negative 15 as well and negative 20 so we can see the differences okay so hit neg type in negative 10 hit the tab key and then click in here see how it created that internal offset i'm going to do it just in here 
Then I'm gonna click on the arrow, click in the empty space, and click on the paint button, bucket again, click a different color, and this time I'm gonna do negative 15. And let's see what negative 15 looks like, okay? So negative 15, it's okay. The reason why I wanted to show you is because sometimes when you do your internal offset in Inkscape, if you're just doing the, the paint bucket and doing it this way, sometimes when you do that internal offset, the, the, the image starts to look distorted. So I wanna show you that. So, all right, let's click on the, paint, um, the arrow button, um, empty space, paint bucket, a different color, and this time we're gonna go negative 20. I think negative 20 is gonna to start to look wonky because if you look at negative 15, the edges start to get kind of, um, they're not as sharp, right? So I'm gonna show you what that looks like here. So this actually doesn't look bad. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I, I could do negative 20. All right, so now let's click on the arrow button, grab everything that's on your canvas, okay? Then go to path, object to path, file, save as, and I'm gonna save it as whatever you wanna remember it as, so 94 offset. Okay, I'm gonna go into um, design space. <laughs> and let's go to upload, upload image, and we're gonna go find our file, our 94 offset. So scroll down to 94. And there it is. Double click on it. Here's my file, 94 offset, click save. And now we're gonna have it in here. Now I wanna talk about sizing for a little bit. This is this gets a little confusing, okay? So first, let's just, um, let's just see what we have, okay? So we have all our tabs and I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna unlock or ungroup this. So the blue tabs go with a nine, right? So um, it basically has four tabs that we're gonna fold up. One tab is gonna be the inside. I'm guessing it's this one. This one's gonna be the inside, and then these are gonna be the outside. The four only has three tabs, of which this one is probably this little triangle, right? So, and you can see the indicators. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. You see this square? This square starts right here. So it's gonna go, um, does it start there, 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 and there? Okay, so this piece is this, then this piece must be this, and then this is here. So it kind of folds. The triangle starts here. So it's gonna go this way. Oh, but you see how it's small and then smaller? So it's gotta go this small, smaller, then bigger, and then small. So you can kind of see where all the pieces go. So for me, what I do is I get rid of all these little indicator marks. So the way you do that is you just go over here to your right hand side panel. I don't care for these, so I'm just going to delete them because I feel like I can figure out where they go. <laughs> Famous last words. Um, all right, so now we've got everything. Oh no, we don't. Where are those little pieces? It says I still have them. Where are these marks? That's so weird. I don't see those little marks anywhere. All right, it's not a big deal. All right, so what we wanna do is, we've already ungrouped everything, right? Okay. You need to ungroup so that we can move things around. When we're resizing these letters, so right now let's just look at the nine. The nine is two inches, 2.6 inches in height. Let's see if the four is the same. The four needs to be ungrouped. So let me ungroup this. And let's see how big our four is. Our four is 2.7. So technically 
2.6. They're very close in size. So I'm not gonna worry about resizing it together. If one was like three inches and one was one inch, then I'm gonna have to resize it to make them more comparable. But here it's like, we're not even, to our eye, we're not gonna notice the difference between the two. So I wanna make this bigger. So what I wanna do is, I'm gonna grab these two nines. I'm gonna put them here, okay? Now, I'm going to grab my blue tabs and I'm gonna rotate it. I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees because I want them standing up. This is my tallest tab, right? So technically I can make, what I wanna do is I'm gonna grab all of the nines and go to align and align bottom. Right now the height is, the tallest is this tab, right? So I could technically change this to 11.5. Everything would cut and let's zoom out. Everything will cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So let me, let's move this for a second. So here's my nine. My nine, like I said, this tab is the longest. So, oh, what just happened? Why did it say? Okay, yeah. Um, I don't know what to make of this right now because when I click on this, it's saying my tab is 16.9 inches, but my height is only 11.5. That makes no sense. Okay, let's work on this file. Okay, so same thing with this one. Let's see what we have going on here. With the tabs, I wanna rotate it and make it 90 degrees. So I'm flipping it upright so that this, this middle tab is my longest tab. So this tab, the most I can make it is 11.5 inches so that it still stays on one piece of cardstock. I can't make this one 11.5 because if I did that, this one will obviously be bigger than 11.5 and I don't have cardstock bigger than that. Or I don't have cardstock that I wanna to use to make it bigger than that. But let's align this, um, align bottom so that we're all flat on an even scale. That's like if me and my three friends, we wanna see how tall we are, we all need to be standing straight, right, on the floor. Someone can't be standing on a couch. So this is what we're doing is we're leveling everybody on the same floor and that still tells us that this guy is the tallest, right? So we grab everything and we make that guy the tallest at 11.5. Let's see, this is crazy. What is it doing? So design space, you know what? Let me go to Canvas real quick. Um, let's go to settings. And I'm gonna go back to classic, this canvas style. I'm gonna replace, okay, it looks like we might have to start over because ever since the update, it has been acting so crazy. Um, so we may have to start that over, but that's not a bad thing because I know everyone gets really confused there. So let's go back and make sure my, oops, shoot, sorry. Click on settings. Okay, so I'm on classic. Oh, man, that's annoying. All right, let's go to upload. Let's bring this one back in, right? So I'm selecting it, insert the image. All right, so you've kind of had a dry run of what I just told you, right? So now we're really putting it into practice. I feel like this is school. I kind of talked about it, and now we're gonna do it again, and it should like really settle in. <laughs> All right, so let's, First, let's get rid of those indicators, right? Um, all right, so let's delete these little guys. And okay, see how they all disappeared this time? I'm telling you that that new design space is, <laughs> all right, let's ungroup. And when you click on it and it still is grouped together, we need to ungroup. Or just the fact that when you click on something and you have the option to ungroup, you need to ungroup it. At least in this case, what we're doing. Okay, so let's start out with the nine. We're gonna do the nine first. 
We're gonna grab the tabs. Now you could rotate, manually rotate it, but I can never get it perfectly upright. So I'm just gonna go to the rotate button and tell that I wanna rotate it 90 degrees. So it's flipping it over and it's completely straight and wonderful. I'm gonna grab all of my nine parts and go to align and align bottom. So now we're all standing on the floor straight up, right? And I'm gonna change, this one is the tallest. I'm gonna make this whole thing 11.5. That way all my tabs will fit on this nine. Everything got resized to the same proportion, okay? So I'm gonna move this over. Let's zoom out for a second, because it's so big, okay. So there's our nine. So this is gonna fit on one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. With it being the biggest thing, if that fits onto my 12 by 12 cardstock, then everything else will fit on my 12 by 12 cardstock without any seams or slicing, right? Let's see how big our nine is. Our nine is 7.8 inches. Not bad, I mean, that's a pretty decent size for a 3D letter. So same thing, let's move this guy over down here and let's flip our tab so that it's sitting upright. So I'm gonna to go to rotate and change it to 90 degrees. Okay, then I'm gonna make them all on the same um, playing field, right? I'm gonna align bottom so we're all standing on the same floor. And then I'm gonna change the height to 11.5. Now here's where it gets a little different, okay? So here's my nine. My nine is 7.8, right? My four is 6.8. In this case, a whole inch is gonna be a little weird. I mean, it's, so the nine is gonna be like here, and then my four is gonna be from here. I, I feel like that's gonna be weird. So this is what we're gonna do instead. Um, so our nine is 7.8. So we're gonna change this. Um, so actually, this tab is my tallest tab out of everything. So what I want to do is if I wanna make the four as big as it can be, so my letter, my max size is gonna be 6.8 because this tab is the longest out of all the tabs. So it's 6.8, I want to now, I actually want to rotate this. We're gonna go back 90 degrees, okay? So now it's gonna be on its side. Then I want all of these tabs to be like this. I want it to be within the space of the nine, okay? So watch this. I'm gonna grab all of this and go to align and I'll still align bottom. And now I want to change my height. So this height of the four is 6.84. I'm gonna change this to 6.84. So my nine and my four are gonna be the same height, okay? And now everything is proportionate. This is 6.84, this is 6.84, and now let's look at our tabs, okay? I know I'm spending a lot of time on the tabs, but I get so many questions about like, why did I change something? How do I get them the same size? I'm gonna rotate this one more time, okay? So let's go to 90 degrees. Remember how I was telling you so let's move these over. So there are four blue tabs for my nine, right? Let's line these up. So we're going to align bottom. And remember I was telling you, this one is the tallest tab, right? So with my letters or my numbers being at 6.84 inches, my highest tab is this middle one. It's 11 and a half inches. This one, is only 10 inches, so it's shorter. That's how I knew because even at this at 11 and a half inches, this was only able to be 6.8 inches. This nine was a full inch taller, if you remember. All right, I know that was like a lot of mumbo jumbo, but hopefully now that makes sense on how to resize something. Um, and also how to change your canvas back to the classic settings because this was not working in the new setting. I don't know why. All right. <laughs> um, <gasps> okay, I think it's still recording, but what? No. 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 
Remind me later. Okay, is it still recording? Okay, it's still recording. I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay, now we have all of our stuff, right? Let's ungroup these. Let's do our, like the whole reason why we did the offset. So I'm gonna ungroup all my numbers and everything, okay? And now that we have everything, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. All right, let's look at our nine first, okay? So this is our, here's our nine. And this was the 20, if you remember. So let's arrange and send it to the front so we can see what it looks like, okay? So here is our nine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these two items, okay? First, I'm gonna duplicate it just so that I have a full size in case I need to do anything. But let's grab these two and go to align and align center. I want this perfectly even. So you can see all my borders is gonna look great, right? So I have this perfectly aligned, I'm gonna slice. When I slice these two items, it's gonna give me that thin border that I want. So this is what I want because what will happen is, here's my nine, right? So imagine your 3D letter. This is the top of the nine. Let's say it's clear because we want the whole thing to be a shaker, right? This nine, I'm gonna change the color. Let's say we make it in gold. So this nine, here's my clear sheet, okay? So I'm gonna try to visually make this happen for us. <laughs> We're gonna have this pretty little cover to cover up all of our tabs, all these little tabs. So that inside is the shaker and it's all pretty and stuff. And this is the top of our nine. So that's why we did that, the whole internal offset so that we can create this cute little pretty border, okay? All right, so then we don't need this. We don't need this. We have everything that we need. So. If you think about this, we're gonna have our bottom nine, okay? So our bottom nine is going to be this one. So let me flip it. So I'm gonna try to piece this together, okay? So here's our bottom nine. Like think of it as like the bottom of the table, okay? All of our tabs are gonna be sticking up. So we're building this wall, this thick 3D letter nine all the way around, right? Then we're gonna stick on top of that nine, a clear nine, because inside this little wall, we're dumping in all our sequins, our glitter, all that pretty fun stuff so that it shakes and moves when we you know, shake it and it makes all that sound. So we have that wall, right? Because the tabs are up and it gives us that thick nine all the way around. We dumped in all our sequins. We're gonna glue our acetate on top so that our sequins don't fall out, right? So now it's completely covered. And then we now we're gonna decorate the top. This is gonna go on top and it's gonna give us that thin gold layer that's pretty. And then we're gonna decorate this with butterflies or whatever we want. So actually we have everything that we need here. We can get rid of these items. So we only need the bottom nine are four tabs that, you know, that will be built and folded all around. Our top layer acetate that will seal off our shaker. And then this is gonna be the decorative part. So just, this is going to help us um, size all of our butterflies. So this is a gold um, butterfly theme for a 94 shaker, okay? All right, so our nine is done. Let's scroll down for a second. Let's look at our four. So our four is gonna be the same thing because we did this one as a shaker. But let's do both of them as a shaker. Um, so if we're gonna do that, then I'm gonna bring that brown layer arranged then to the front just so that I could see it. Grab these two, I'm gonna center it, right? Align, center. So it's centered perfectly. Then I'm gonna slice it. And did it slice? Okay, so it sliced. So here is our top layer. I'm gonna flip this one over, arrange. 
um, we're gonna wanna flip it back, okay? Because we want the nice cover to be on the outside, but just for visually for us right now, I'm flipping it over so that you could see what it looks like um, as we're building it. So here's our bottom four. All of our tabs go on top, right? And then we need a clear layer four. So I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna make that gray because it's gonna remind me that it's the clear layer. It's gonna go on top. And then here's our pretty gold that goes on top of all that. I'm gonna arrange them to the front. So I'm gonna match this to my nine so that everything is kind of color coordinated. Um, okay, so that means we can now get rid of all of these. Okay, so here's our top layer top layer, this is our bottom layer. Our two bottom layers, I'm gonna take the four and the nine right now, and I'm gonna flip them back over. Because think of it like when you're doing um, iron-on, so HTV, you have to mirror it because you want that pretty side to be on the other side. So if you have colored paper or whatever, you're going to want this, let's go to flip it, so you want it to cut the pretty side this way because then you're gonna flip it over and the pretty side's gonna be facing on the back, okay? All right, if I haven't confused you guys, um, uh, let's see, I'm gonna want this probably to be in white, so let me change all of our tabs. So our back layer and our tabs, I'm gonna make them white, okay? So I'm making these white as well. So technically, as of now, hopefully I haven't lost anybody, we have structurally our nine and our four. Everything is here. We've got our bottom layer, our tabs, our acetate paper that's gonna keep the sequins in, and then our pretty cover on top. Now all we have left is we have our four and our nine that we need to decorate with pretty leaves and vines and butterflies. All right, so let's start decorating. Um, let me save this. So 94 shaker. All right, so let's go into images and I'm gonna look for butterflies. And um, I've done this a few times. So what I found is with that size, I'm gonna want butterflies without the antennas because they get kind of thin and I'm cutting cardstock. I'm also cutting pretty cardstock. So that's glitter cardstock, shimmer cardstock. Um, the antenna seems to get lost. So I like this shape. What you wanna do is you wanna get a few different shapes going. So I like this one and I don't want them to be too similar. I want maybe a shorter, fatter one. So let me find one. I like this, but it has the antenna. Um, and I want a real butterfly. I don't want something like this. And I like the number three. I feel like when you have three different types of butterflies, it looks really cohesive, um, but not so repetitive, where it looks like you just did the same thing over and over. Um, okay. I mean, I guess we could always just trim off the antenna, but that's kind of annoying that I have to do that. Uh, I mean, we could slice it off. Um, all right. I'm going too far. Um, let's do this one and we'll go back to that other one. Um, all right, let's do this one. I'm gonna insert the three butterflies and I'm going to show you how to get rid of the antennas because <laughs> I just don't like it. Are these two the same? No, they're different. Okay, they're all different, right? Let's make this a little bit bigger so that we can kind of see what we're dealing with. Um, let's bring in a circle. 
All right. So I'm going to unlock this and kind of make it narrow because I want to bring this circle down here so that I can slice off this antenna. That looks okay. The, it, no one's gonna really notice this. So I'm gonna grab these two items and slice. And I'm gonna move this over. And I'm just gonna do this for now. Flipped it over and I'm going to slice off this side, okay? Don't worry about all this other stuff. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it. Let's grab those two items. Oops, I grabbed too much. Let's grab it like this and slice. Okay, now let's fix up our butterfly, okay? So let's move our big butterfly out of the way. Get rid of all this. And we're, oh, that looks kind of funky, huh? <laughs> I didn't realize. All right, but let's get rid of these two hanging ones. Let's go to contour. And let's get rid of those two little pieces. And while we're here, let's get rid of some of the other pieces that are too thin, okay? So like maybe that piece is too small. I'm going to get rid of those two. I'm going to keep it symmetrical. And maybe even this one and this one. And let's see what this looks like. All right. So see, I made it so that my cuts are a little bit better. Um, I never noticed this piece and this piece. It looks kind of weird to me. I'm gonna slice off those two pieces as well. So let's do, <laughs> let's grab this little circle here and slice and Let's make this a little bit thinner. And actually, let's slide, let's open this up and see what that looks like. Let's grab this. I know this, this tutorial's gone off the rails. Um, let's slice this out. And let's see what we have. All right, so let's move this butterfly out of the way. I feel like I've really just screwed up this butterfly. <laughs> All right, here's my butterfly. And I'm gonna make it small because this is our true size nine, right? It's almost seven inches. If I had the butterfly this big, it would look ridiculous, right? So I kind of want the butterfly to be maybe like this. Have a few butterflies, a few roses. So. All right, um, so I like to layer my butterflies, so I'm gonna duplicate it. This layer, I'm gonna contour, and I want it completely uh, full. So I'm gonna hide all so that you can see it. So it's gonna look like this. I mean, my butterfly is probably gonna be pink, because I love pink and gold. I'm gonna arrange, send it to the front. Okay, so here's my butterfly. This layer will probably be, let's do a white glitter cardstock. So it's going to look like this. So it's going to come through, right? And then what I want is I'm going to want this one duplicate. And um, actually, I want, I want a fuller size. I want with all the details. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to make that, let's make it purple and arrange, send to the back. So this is what my butterfly is gonna look like. I'm layering it. So it's gonna be folded, it's gonna be propped open, and it's gonna look very 3D-ish and really delicate and really pretty. So let's make sure that we like this, um, we'll group it together so that it moves together as one. And if we like this size. So it's about three inches wide which is kind of a big butterfly. Let's make it a little bit smaller. So here's one butterfly. This one will be easier because it doesn't have the antenna that I'm trying to get rid of. So let's make this a little bit bigger, but it's got a lot of little details that I don't like. So let's go to contour and just select them to get rid of them, okay? Because I don't want my cardstock to get ripped in the cutting process. So I'm gonna just get rid of all these little dots that I feel like will 
could cause ruin to my paper and these little dots as well. It, I've done this on many projects and I promise you these little dots, no one will notice that they're gone. And this will just ensure that your paper gets cut beautifully. All right, so here's my butterfly. Right, I'm gonna duplicate it. Um, make it a little bit bigger because this is my last layer. And then I'm gonna duplicate this one and make it contour and hide all because this one's gonna be my full butterfly that sits behind the one with the cutouts. So let me arrange, move back. And let's move this to the front. So see this butterfly is gonna go in, in front like this and then this one's gonna go in the back and be bigger and give that nice like offset, like fuller look. Um, all right, so now that we have this, let's go and resize this as well. Maybe, maybe we have a few butterflies here and then, you know, we can do the same thing with here and then I want some flowers. So I'm going to go to images and I'm going to type in rolled flower and see if I can find some that I like, that I recognize. Um, Cause I did this recently and I like the ones, I don't like this shape. I want it to have this one. This one is really pretty rolled. Um, and there was one more that I like, because again, I don't like having the same shape because I feel like it just looks too repetitive. So let me see if there's another one in here. I'm not seeing it. So you know what, I'll, I'll use the one that I don't like as much and let's insert them. And I use the leaves as um, a way to tell whether or not this is too big or too small. So if I like the leaves here, I feel like the flower is gonna be proportionate when it gets rolled up. So I'm gonna make this just a little bit smaller. So here's my one flower. So it's a, um, I'm gonna ungroup it because I don't want the leaf to be counted in here. So this is about three and a half inches. So I want this to also be about that size. So maybe three point, you know, I'm gonna make this one smaller, 3.4. Because um, I know I like this flower more. So I'm gonna duplicate this one and make it a little bit bigger. Um, okay, and here's your leaf. If you like these leaves, you can put it, you know, like around in a couple spots. Um, and you're gonna wanna do that for the four. I would use the same set of butterflies just in a different color combination. So if this one's gold, white, pink, then I want pink, white, gold. So a um, play of the three colors of the three butterflies, different sizes, it's gonna give you a really cohesive look without it looking, like I said, too repetitive. Um, that is all that there is left. So I'm gonna save it. The design portion is really up to you, like how many butterflies, how many leaves, um, how many flowers. I always do extra because I don't wanna like be almost done and then have to go back and pull out three more sheets of paper and cut it again. I'd rather cut more and give myself um, the opportunity to edit and make it less. So I would definitely do, I would probably do like eight rolled flowers just to give myself that room because I probably only want like, up, I'd probably do the flowers like three right here or maybe right here and then have the butterflies up here. And then on the floor, on the floor, I want to leave this open because that's where you're gonna see the shaker. So maybe I would put like a butterfly or two up here and maybe some flowers sitting here or maybe a flower or two right here and leave this part open and this part open because it will show the sequence. All right, let's go to the make it screen just so that we can see what that looks like. Oh. 
And I'm so glad we did because the tabs, you see it's missing all the, all the dotted lines. Let's cancel for a second. So with this designer, what you need to do is you need to click on this piece and attach. So let me show you what the Make It screen looks like now because we've attached one so you can see what that looks like. What we're basically telling Design Space is cut out this tab and also cut out the, these little dots exactly on here. We don't want the dots just randomly being cut on paper, right? We want it to go with the tabs. So this is what it looks like when you attach it. When you don't attach it, this is what it looks like. So let's cancel out of this and attach all of them. And you can't grab all of them and attach it at one time because then it will, I, I think it will cut um, all of the tabs at one time like that. So let's grab this, attach, this, attach, this, attach, this one, attach, this one, attach, this one, attach. All right, now let's go to the Make It screen. So we have our tabs, that looks good. We've got our tabs here. Maybe move this up here. Then you have this piece for next time if you wanted to. Um, here's our four. This is our acetate paper. Our butterfly, obviously we didn't change the colors, but you know, we're gonna wanna do that a few times. This is the pretty, like, um, the little outline that's gonna sit on top, and then our butterflies and everything else is gonna sit on top of this. Um, butterflies, all right. So, um, just in case you didn't know this, you can move these closer. You can also decide, oh, I don't want it in red. I'm gonna click on the three dots, move object, and I'm gonna send it to the purple sheet. So I'm gonna have a purple butterfly and also now a purple flower. And you can move it like this, okay? Um, and that's it. So I'm gonna cut this tonight. I'm gonna record putting it together because it's, it's gotta go out <laughs> for a party on Friday. <laughs> so let me know, post your comments, give me your feedback. Was that crazy? Did it finally make sense? Where can I answer more questions? Because I will be doing these more. Um, so, all right. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.